Why Prince William is a key factor when it comes to the future of Britain, analysis by Cameron Walker. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Last year, Prince William was described as a global statesman and ranked as the world leader most likely to successfully unite America, and now he is helping the UK government confront a global threat. In New York this September, the UN General Assembly will host a high-level meeting on the growing threat of drug-resistant infections, and Prince William believes the event represents a golden opportunity to call for more action and more unity. The heir to the throne was speaking at a joint event in London today between the Royal Society and His Majesty's Government, which has just announced a package of up to £85 million to support the international community in tackling antimicrobial resistance AMR. The Lancet Medical Journal claims that 5 million people die every year from causes linked to antimicrobial resistance, and by 2050, this number is expected to rise to 10 million. Prince William could be a real asset to the UK government in urging the global community to unite and take action on this growing threat. The prince's popularity and star power far exceed that of any politician, according to the latest opinion polls. When the Prince of Wales speaks, people listen and understand that by stamping his name on the issue, he hopes to raise awareness among the general public and not just the scientific community. Today's speech to senior international politicians and UN representatives warned that microbial resistance is indiscriminate no matter your wealth or where you come from. Prince William said, We stand at a critical juncture where the interconnections between drug resistance, climate change and environmental degradation cannot be ignored. Rivers are polluted with antibiotics and oceans are full of microplastics containing resistant bacteria. At the same time, Deforestation destroys ecosystems, facilitating the emergence of new infectious diseases. Unless we act now and together, the ripple effects of drug resistance will be felt across generations, putting the well-being of our children and grandchildren at risk. Today was the first time His Royal Highness had spoken publicly about the issue, but it is understood it is an issue he has cared about passionately for a number of years, having seen the benefits of antibiotics as an air ambulance pilot and RAF search and rescue pilot. Last July, it became a sponsor of the Fleming Initiative, and now medical giant GlaxoSmithKline has pledged to invest £45 million in the initiative as a global leader in antimicrobial innovation. Prince William explained that this money will help open the Fleming Centre in Paddington within four years, bringing together world-class experts to keep the global drug-resistant infection at bay. More centres are expected to open around the world but the first is being built in the heart of London, not far from where penicillin, used to treat infections, was discovered. The Prince of Wales appears to be playing a role for the UK government on an issue it considers a priority, bringing the global community together and raising awareness about a danger that could affect anyone on the planet. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.